All right, so what is going on today, YouTube? We are going to be going back in with the Black Luster deck. Now, I know in my previous video, I was uh, pretty much talking about making a, you know, a very crazy deck idea. But um, I, I was thinking about the Chaos Dragon version because uh, I, I, his, his, his original name was ID, IDK32, but his name, his new name is Ahoy Kai. Or so, it's like that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to just have trouble saying, yeah, I'm going to say either IDK32 or I'm going to say Ahoy Kai, but this is the same person. So, yeah, he originally said, uh, you know, try to put some Eclipse Wyvern and throw a Chaos Dragon theme in it. Now, while I tried to build that, and I told you guys many times before, I'm not the greatest deck builder of all time. Um, so, it just, w what I was trying to do was uh, put a whole bunch of, you know, dragons and stuff and trying to figure out, you know, ratios, you know, good level twos, you know, good, you know, stuff like that. And it, it just didn't work out. So, I decided, hmm, what is a good level four dark? And I know there's plenty of good level four darks, but... You know what does good with Super Soldier because this card sends, not is not a cost. It, you know, even if you tribute, but like I said, it sends. You know, they all activate. So let's throw the Shadows in there. Shadows are very underrated right now. Well, a lot of people are starting to you know notice them because of how good it is against Zoo. You know, you could just easily bypass like you know you can easily bypass Drancia. You can just get a free summon out like a one card send. You know, and then pretty much. It's, a, it's basically a one card, you know, your opponent has to deal with it. If they use Dimensional Barrier, like I said, you act, you, you got access to the rest of your deck pretty much. Um, if they don't, they got to they gotta face down a window that can't be destroyed or a Shekinaga that's going to negate anything, um, any special summon monster. And that's, so that's just good. And this, and also the fact that you can send a Squamata and you can literally get a free tuner. Um, you can get a search, you can pop a spell trap, or you can draw a card. And it sets up your graveyard depending on what deck you're playing. So... Shadows are just really good in this deck because not only, you know, you, not, not, not only, uh, not only can you use it with Super Soldier Origin, but you can, you know, use Shadal to counteract your opponent and your opponent going off first turn. And also the card that I put back in here, I mean, not put back in here, but put in here is Super Soldier Ritual because there's a lot of times where I'm, le I'm left with a, a BLS, not actually a BLS, but I'm left with a Super Soldier and I can't summon it. But this, you can summon any Black Luster Soldier. So, I can be left with a couple of level fours in my hand and bam, use this, bring out another one and then continue from there because, you know, you trade in, put one in the graveyard and you activate this, you search one. So if you got multiple, this also helps. And then it has an extra effect where um, when it's in your graveyard, not during the turn it's sent, you can banish a light and a dark, especially I'm going to be a less from your hand. So that's just really good. Um, as far as the extra deck goes, um, you, this is the only three I summoned throughout the whole replays i'm finna show you guys so you can literally have 12 extra slots you can play whatever you want it literally does not matter because like i said i have not i didn't go into this at all i believe i, I probably one replay i went into it but it wasn't even necessary and then uh let's talk about the cards i took out i took out the traps because when i started to build this deck it was going towards 60 and i really didn't want, want a 60 card ritual deck because that's kind of stupid you can't really you know, call it a ritual deck because you got 60 other cards. I mean, you got like 50, what? That's a, uh, five, that's five. And then uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Pretty much, you, if we have 49 other cards that are not rituals. So it's kind of stupid to, it's just, it just does it. I don't think it would have worked. Uh, yeah, like I said, that's the only reason I took out the traps. I took out the level sevens because as you see, it doesn't really mesh well with this because I took out the one stars. Um, all this was pretty much extra fodder to pretty much send off a super soldier origin so why that is just a perfect replacement with the score uh with the shadows just take out these put in the shadows and put in snow because snow is just possibly the best level four light monster out besides like light no it is the best level four light monster out so i mean that's you know <laughs> what you can do with that um so yeah i took out a hope galaxy because like i said you don't really need your extra deck it's just there to be there so yeah that is it um, so without further ado, we're going to just get straight into these replays because this is going to be a relatively short video. So like always, if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment. Also subscribe if you have not already. I upload a minimum of three videos a week. So you guys definitely have something to look forward to throughout the week. And also, if you guys can click an ad to help support the channel, I would appreciate it very much. And I thank you for it. So without further ado, let's get into these duels. And all right, here we go, starting off with the first duel. And as you can see, and also I was considering a kaiju variant because getting over your opponent's cards and then just like like using a kaiju, like just imagine, like if I like any of any of these cards are slumber, I could just literally tribute over one of his cards 
and then summon this and then attack twice with fucking 3,000 and it's burned. So you're getting hit with 6,000 just off tops. That's just good. So anyways, as you can see, I'm going first and I hate going first with this deck. But as you see, my hand is very good. But like, this is what I'm talking about. As you see, I opened up double what's the name and did look, I'm just drawing into more rituals. So I decided to use the super soldier, which you, you, you should never do. You should never do that because this is the shit that happens. You just get Kaiju over it and stuff like that. And then like my opponent's playing BA. So I'm like, God damn, like really? Here we go again. What did I banish? I banished the Antra. Okay. Then he goes and some, then he's playing Infernoids just to, just to add sauce on the cake. Like he's playing Infernoids. Like that's just ridiculous. So I'm like, all right, I can deal with this because I do have a black luster. You know, I do have a black luster ritual. I can summon black luster soldier and attack over that. And then bam, I draw a chaos sorcerer. Chaos Sorcerer is going to trigger these two. So, with that being said, um, I was contemplating, do I just want to summon a Chaos Sorcerer and then use uh, use both of these effects? Hopefully, that Deviati didn't negate because I actually needed both. Because if I did do that, um, I think I probably would have got game. Possibly. I don't know. But in hindsight, um, <laughs> you, you guys will see, that probably would have been the better play. Just to bait out the Deviati so I can just attack over the Dante and stuff like that and then i like not not even attack over the dante just chaos sorcerer the dante and then hit with six thousand, and then go into it like a rank eight or something like that that possibly would have been a better move but um how did he get that back to his hand oh, he drew a kaiju why, why did he draw i don't even know how he got that second kaiju in his hand I, I don't know what did he do um but yeah so look at that that's just you can't beat this. It's like, this is just straight bullshit, man. And I'm not going to complain, but this is just straight bullshit. So as you see, look, look at that. And then he mills the Sir, even though it didn't really matter. He mills the Sir just to just to put the icing on the cake. And it, I think it actually kind of did matter. Nope. It, yeah, it did matter because without the Sir, then he doesn't, you know, do that play. He has to send Sir with that. But then he ends up hitting a Farfa and then pretty much beats me from there. Uh, let's see what was the next card so i would have top decked this and i think i actually would have came back because i would have super soldier origin i would have had the uh chaos source would have got killed these two would have been in defense mode super soldier origin special summon this and i don't think i would have been able to attack twice but uh yeah so here we go with the second duel um the second duel going up against galaxies and as you can see i opened up shadal fusion open up super soldier origin of bls which is amazing so i can go shakanaga right here and put the uh the the proper BLS in the grave. I mean not the proper one, but the super soldier in the graveyard. And then like I'm like, all right, so here we go. And then I'm like, I just want my I'm thinking I want to play against Zoom because I want to use Shadal Fusion. But now look, look at this. You just go Cyber Dragon over. So I'm like, fuck. I don't know really what I want to feed to him. I don't know if I want to feed this or the Shadal Fusion because um they both can be activated. You know, if you negate the activation, you can activate another one. So I'm contemplating right here. I draw into the Chaos Sorcerer. So I'm like, all right. So yeah, Shadal Fusion is getting fed to Infinity because I need the Super Soldier Origin to resolve. So I can, you know, send one of these uh, and then I can just banish and summon a Chaos Sorcerer. And then these two replace themselves already. And then also with the Shadal Fusion, if he does let it go, I can go Shekinaga by sending Hedgehog and a, the Super Soldier, which he actually lets go, which I don't understand why. So I searched that. So now I searched the Dragon. So if he was, you know, I thought he was going to use it on this. I thought he was going to Infinity this. And I could have used Shekinaga to distract, I mean, discard this. I don't know why he didn't do this. I don't know why he just didn't hit this card. Um, but so I do that. And then he uses that card. And so now here he goes with the Chaos Sorcerer. And the what's the name? And as you can see, even it, even when I do negate, I still have you know I still have these two the tribute to special summon uh, the Black Luster Soldier, and then this I get to attack twice. So um, I believe that's what I do here. Actually, no, okay, no, I just Shekinaga. Right now I just attack because it's like there's no reason to overextend. I still have this for next turn, and you know that's just going to do good. So he's drawing these cards. I don't know what any of these cards do, but it's a it's a Karif. I don't know Karif Photon or whatever. This negates attacks, or you don't take damage, right? um yeah you take no damage that's actually a pretty good card and so here we go now we're going up against fucking metal foes cosmos and i always want to go second and our opponent actually lets me go second so here i'm thinking all right i got game because of the uh what's the name because of the um those squamatas i can get a free draw and then this is going to get enough you know it's going to get enough counters to pretty much put on there so here go draw a card i already got that 
summon chaos sorcery that's going to search this bam use that summon mm, remove three so now i got already fodder for next turn but we're going to hit him the first game this is why you always want to go second with this deck and then yeah that's what this is why i love the shadal engine because it just adds that extra oomph to the deck and so here we go going up against harada beast yeah man i'm trying to tell you we, we're, we're just uh we're just going through the motions right now and this and trust me this just it gets it gets it gets better from here on out but um as you can see i didn't open up the best hand look at this like look at this no rituals but i drew all ritual spells and this oh yeah i remember this duel. this is just awful you guys are going to see exactly what happened like don't don't get me wrong even though i really enjoy this deck and i think this deck is very good it, it does brick and as you're going to see right now it's going to brick but uh, what's really good is the Chaos Sorcerer banishing these. Now, I didn't want this one. I wanted the dark one, but I actually needed this one because that would be my only fight. And so here he goes. I'm like, fuck, what is he going to go into now? This You can just go into any level four. So that sucks. Um, he attacks me with all I'm like, fuck, I need a ritual. I need something. So I draw into the evening twilight and I'm like, fuck it. I got to attack just so I can summon it with a summon Chaos Sorcerer. And get a search off and then I, I structure my chain links to where i didn't need the uh spell card i didn't need the um ritual spell so just in case he had strike or something he, he couldn't he couldn't negate it and then i trade in and look look at this look look at this all fucking ritual cards in my hand and it's just there's nothing really you can do about that that's just awful and here we go again with just this is why i love going second with this deck this is why i can't go first I need traps or something in this damn deck because this is this is just awful. Look, you see this shit? I know you guys can see what's going on. Look at this. And just get hit with 9,000. This is why if I would have set this, it wouldn't have did nothing because I would have taken 8,000 regardless. Probably should have Super Soldier Origin, but what what that would have did. I could have I could have should all fusioned. Could have did that. I probably that's probably would have been a better play. Yeah, actually, actually that was the better play. I should have should all fusion. That was completely my fault. I I didn't think this was going to happen. That's why. So, but the the, the better play would have been should all fusion. Discard this. Discard that. Right. And I would didn't mean to get that. I meant to get the super soldier. So, with that would have been I would have got Shekinaga in defense mode. This would have sent Hedgehog. Hedgehog would have searched. Uh, Hedgehog would have searched probably Beast. Then I would have Super Soldier Origin, discarding this in the light, special summon this. Got to probably a card out of his hand because I think the card takes, I think the light takes a card out of the hand, if I'm not mistaken. And then uh, in phase, I would have got this back. So I think that, you know, that that probably would have, that, that would have saved me. I wouldn't have lost this turn. Actually, this attacks everything, right? Yeah, I, I think I just still would have lost. Actually, if I hit an Ancient Gear, he wouldn't have been able to do anything. Hindsight is 2020. So, all right, here we go. This is a good back and forth duel actually went down to the wire to like the, i had 200 points left and you guys are going to see what the hell happened to me with 200 points left so as you can see look at this look at this hand just drawn pretty good the super soldier origin now i can get a fairy tale in the grave which is always good some of the man you get anything i want super soldier origin right what does the light one do no this is the dark one okay never mind so the dark one banishes from your hand all right so the light one doesn't so I go to activate the effect to banish from the hand. He activate trap tricks, trap hole nightmare. That's fucking fine. You know what? That's that's fine. I can summon chaos sorcerer. Do that. Use the black luster soldier. Um, uh, use the black luster ritual to get that trade in. Draw another card. And as you can see, I draw into the uh, what's the name? A hedgehog, regeki, and super soldier. So I'm like, all right, what can this man do? He can't really do anything. Bam, dark holes, instant fusion. Gold's castell gets rid of this. So now I can't even you know use this to get any spells out of my deck. And I'm I'm facing down a Castell with a Herodic Twin Eagle. And I'm like, fuck, Shadal Fusion, Shadal Fusion. I'm like, God damn it, what am I going to do? Well, right here is where I completely um, could have did a different way around this. So I summoned BLS. I'm like, fuck, he has Strike. I could have just set this. Actually, no, because if I would have set this, he would have just striked it. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter because what happened is what happened. But, like, I'm like, damn, like... He has strike. So what can I do now? He had dark hole instant fusion strike. All right. So what do I do now? So I set this. I'm like, all right, here we go. You know, I, I'm on my way to back. I got the Shadal fusion. I'm good. I draw, activate Shadal fusion. And hit. I was like, fuck, it, there's no way I'm going to win. I said, this is over. This is completely over. So I'm setting this because I want this in the graveyard because this has a graveyard effect. 
Then he normal summons this. I'm like, fuck, what can you do? No, I don't want to lose. So I draw. I'm like, damn, I need something. I was like, no, this doesn't do anything. So I sat. I'm like, damn, I'm about to lose, man. He draws into a bulb. Now, this is what I do when I check. Do you, he, oh, he does play. He plays one level five, but it's only in the Terry Beast. Oh, man. So he attacks with 17. So I'm like, God damn, I need a heart of the cards right now. And guess what? Heart of the fucking cards. We draw into a Manju. Oh, just so, so beautiful. So goddamn beautiful. Summon that Super Soldier. Use the Super Soldier's effect. Boom. Bam. Hit with 17. That's what I'm talking about. That is just amazing right there. Look at that comeback. Good duel. So, you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. And look, look at this. I got a mirror match. I, I am going first. So I'm like, all right, here we go. We're not going to, uh, we're going to, we're going to actually going to, you know, take the aggressiveness. We're going to do Shadal Beast and stuff like that. And we're going to set the dragon because just in case I'm playing against some deck, that, uh, Kaiju or something, or maybe True Kings, because I was playing against that. But um, it, 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 just, it was just some hands that you just can't beat. So I believe I do have one true king duel on here, but it turns out I'm playing this. And look at his hand. He's drawn. Look at this. He's drawn his like that's this is the only card. You need this and you need Super Soldier Origin. But you already have Gateway of Chaos. As you can see, I had no chance to get out of this. So I'm just pretty much struggling for life here. So I summon Super Soldier Attack. And I believe this activates, right? This summons this. I'm like, all right. Let's hope that he does not top deck anything. And, and you know what happens? He, he doesn't even need to search. Like, then he has another beginning night, which just, hold on. Let's see what his deck was looking like. Does he play three? He doesn't, he doesn't even, no, he does. Wait, what? I don't get it. You play three to dark ones, but not three to light ones. Okay. This card is really good, which we, I, we, I probably should be playing because that's my own dimensional barrier which I, I, I really should be playing for some traps. And I, I really am going to go back in with this deck, and that's definitely going to be it. And all right to the last duel of the day. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, um, you know, you just always love to go second because you can put you can push for game with this deck. Uh, so I just opened up pretty – oh, I pre opened up okay. It wasn't the best, you know, hand. But as you, I already told you guys, the Shadal adds so much stuff to this deck. It's amazing. So top deck, the Gateway of Chaos, and I'm like, all right, we're going for game here, folks. Use the ritual summon. Use Shadal Fusion. Gets actually two more counters. Draw the search. To the what's the name? Super Soldier Origin. Bam. Use the effect. Banish you. And we're going for game. And that's over. That's over eight thousand. And so what? Which I didn't know. You have to immediately attack after, or you will lose the effect to attack twice. So yeah, that is uh, it for today. Let's go back to the deck profile. So yeah, that was my Shadal Black Luster, uh, Black Luster Soldier Shadal deck. I don't know how to call it, uh, but yeah, that is this. I really had a lot of fun playing with this. I'm definitely going to be playing some more of this. Uh, I'm going to tweak it a little bit, add some traps. Probably the Gersel Prison. That was called. You know what? Uh, no, I'm just going to do it after the video. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you should change. And uh, what you would change in this deck, what you would add and stuff like that. Do you guys have any crazy ideas to go with this? Um, and yeah, like I said, you, the extra deck is just, you don't really need any extra deck. You do, you can actually fill it with your dolls if you want to. Um, you can actually max out on three Shekinagas, three windows, even though you would never summon that. But you can if you want to, because this literally does not matter. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Have a fun weekend. I will see you guys Monday with some more dual videos.